The quest to meet and to really know women is as old as mankind. History and literature are filled with stories of their encounters, attractions, and romances. From Helen of Troy to Scarlett O'Hara. Nearly everyone knows of a man that women find irresistible. Some men just seem to have a knack for pleasing women, while others resort to excessive efforts to meet and attract women. And often the end result is frustration. When you're making all the wrong moves, all the money and looks in the world won't help you. This video, however, can. This video can help you break that cycle of frustration. The Total Man's Guide to Meeting Women offers insight into meeting women. It is an art that few master. Those who do, however, tap into the complex forces and attractions that bring men and women together. While each man will develop his own skill set or approach to meeting women, the information presented in this video can help alleviate the failure and frustration many men encounter when seeking to meet interesting women. The result is a more exciting and rewarding life. You will also learn how not to be afraid of women, to listen when a woman talks, how to feel more comfortable on a dinner date, and how to present yourself at your very best. Single women of the 90s have a new attitude towards men and careers. Still, many women embrace the traditional ways. When meeting a woman, it never hurts to have a sharp instinct as to what a woman values. A sharply honed instinct, in fact, can be invaluable. You can develop this and strengths in other areas, and that is where this video comes in. There's never been a better time for meeting women because women too are just as interested in meeting men. We're going to talk to some women right now and find out their views about meeting men. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming today. What do you ladies find the most difficult thing about meeting men? I think it's really hard to find a quality guy who has the same types of values that I have. Mm -hmm. That's right. When you see a guy that looks like he's got it together, you say this guy could be for me. And then you realize when you talk with him that he's boring and all he wants to do is talk about himself. You know what I hate is when a guy really plays himself up and he makes himself sound so interesting and then after a few days you find out he's none of the things he said he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you find most interesting about a guy? What initially attracts you to him? I like a guy that's clean cut but he's not so perfect that he can't have a hair out of place. Mm -hmm. Well, after I check out the full body view, <laughs> the next thing I look at his hands and I love a man with really nice hands. I like a guy who keeps in shape. He doesn't have to be a bodybuilder or anything, but he definitely has to care about his body. What do you look for in a guy in uh, the first date? I think maybe how he handles the conversation is really important. Mm -hmm. That's right. I like a guy who can talk about a lot of different subjects like movies or sports or whatever and just keep the conversation going. To me, it's important that he be genuinely interested in what I have to say because a lot of times a guy will ask you a question, but then when it's time for you to answer, you can tell that he really doesn't care. People seem to be marrying later than they used to. So more singles than ever are seeking new ways to meet members of the opposite sex. Like joining a dating service, for instance. But meeting women is just half the battle. The problem is that not too many men have caught on to what it takes to capture and maintain a woman's interest. Believe me, it doesn't take looks. Looking great doesn't hurt, but still there are many handsome men out there who actually turn women off. On the other hand, there are some average looking men who are proverbial women magnets. These men know the secrets that enable them to meet and really know women and what women like. They know how to win and keep a woman's attention. And you can too. You can open the door to a more rewarding social life. All it takes is effort, a smart approach, more complete personality development, better fitness and grooming habits, and knowing where and how to meet women. Let's look at how you can succeed in seven key areas. Fitness, fashion, grooming, the art of conversation, where to meet women, and how to meet women. As you gain more progress in these areas, that all-important seventh factor, confidence, will begin to give you more self-esteem. 
It's an old saying, but it carries a lot of truth. Nothing succeeds like success. And interestingly enough, the seven key areas overlap. Joining a health spa, for instance, not only helps you improve your conditioning, it provides a setting for meeting women. So let's begin by taking a look at how you can improve your body, your health, and your social life. We are visual creatures, and there's no doubt that what usually first attracts us to a person is their appearance. Being in shape does a lot for your appearance, and it definitely plays a role in attracting and meeting women. And while you may want to join a health spa, you can get into shape with a simple but effective 30 minute a day home workout. A lot of men don't like going to a gym to work out because they're not in shape. But today, I'm gonna show you a routine that you can do for two months that will help you get in shape and give you more confidence when you go to the gym. We're gonna start with the upper body. And now Scott will show us the proper way to do a push-up. Scott, hands shoulder width apart, keep your back straight, up, go down, touch your nose and come back up. Make sure you keep the body straight, in good form, nice and smooth. Start with five to 10 reps, but know your limits. Everybody has limitations. Do not overexert yourself, but be sure to use proper form. That was your basic push-up. Now for some more advanced techniques to work different parts of the chest. This works the outer pec. Notice he's keeping his back straight. Widen your arms. Very good form, Scott. Now to work the inner portion of your chest, slide your hands in closer than shoulder width and begin push-ups. Correct form again, keep your back straight. Begin. Nice, down. Very good form, notice his back. Now remember, start with five to 10 reps and slowly increase as you feel stronger and more comfortable with the exercise. Breathing is one of the most important aspects of this exercise. Exhale as you exert yourself and inhale as you go down. Now I'm gonna show you an abdominal workout. We'll do upper, lower, and obliques. Now we start with the upper. Scott, show him the correct form. Raise up. As he goes up, when you come down, shoulder blades touch, you go back up. Up and down. Remember to breathe. Do not overexert yourself. Do what you're capable of doing. Five to 10 reps is plenty. Exhale as you go up. Inhale as you go down. Now for your lower abs, we will do a pelvic tilt. You press your stomach to the floor, raise your pelvic bone to the ceiling. Do it very slow and concentrated. Concentrate on using your stomach muscles, not your back. Notice how Scott's breathing. Do as many reps as possible, but do not overexert yourself. Now Scott will show us the proper form for the obliques. And your obliques are located on the sides of your abs. And this is the exercise we'll do. Scott, raise your leg up, hand behind the head, up, come back down. When the shoulder blade touches, you go right back up. Don't come all the way down. Up, remember to breathe. Keep your back pressed against the floor. Nice job, Scott. For your lower body workout, do some aerobic exercises, such as walking, jogging, playing tennis, and do it at least three times a week for a more complete workout. A lot of my buddies think a good workout is a steak, a few beers, and a good night's rest. Wasn't that one of your workouts, Scott? That was a long time ago, Brad. Since then, I've learned to combine diet, exercise, a good mental attitude, and I've learned how to eat smart. And eating smart is actually a lot easier than it sounds. You're always hearing this is good for you and that's good for you, but don't eat too much of this and don't eat too much of that. It can get very confusing. What this all boils down to is simply a heart smart diet, which can include fish, whole grains, fat free foods, and fresh vegetables. Scott, you know too many people get caught up in these fad diets and they never work. All it takes is sensible eating and a little bit of exercise. That's right Brad, they don't. And there's no need to cut down on calories, just redistribute them. Eat early in a small portions throughout the day. Something else you might want to try is working out late in the evening. A pre-dinner workout helps to press your appetite, which will help you control your weight. Anaerobic activities, such as lifting weights, will help build up your muscles and increase your muscle mass. These activities, combined with your aerobic workouts, will reduce your total body fat percentage, 